Now to concerns about another part of the U.S. sinking. This is not another Rodanthe house collapse. This time it's buildings in Florida. With more on this, this is ABC's Andrew Dimbert. A new study warns dozens of buildings in South Florida are sinking. Researchers at the University of Miami found at least 35 coastal buildings affected by what they call subsidience. I think what was a bit surprising in this study is of how consistent it was over a long distance of how the, the ground settled. The study follows the collapse of a condo tower in Surfside, Florida in 2021, where 98 people were killed. Although sinking was not a factor in that disaster, researchers did find the building next door was sinking. And it's not just South Florida facing this sinking feeling. In New Orleans and Mexico City, or Venice is a classic example that the whole city sinks down compared to this examples, it's relatively small. Scientists last year found New York City sinking at a rate of one to four millimeters per year. They suggest the weight of all those buildings may be speeding up the sinking. They've warned about more severe flooding in the Big Apple as sea levels rise. Meanwhile, in California, the pumping of groundwater is blamed for causing land in the San Joaquin Valley to sink at record levels. Researchers at Stanford found chronic overpumping of groundwater caused land there to sink by as much as one foot per year in some areas, causing damage to canals, wells, and other infrastructure, costing hundreds of millions of dollars to repair. Back in South Florida, like New York City, researchers have said the sinking is no cause for alarm. The more immediate concern may be the higher risk for flooding. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.